Hello to you. I'm Jesse Johnson. This is physics. Tesla physics. The third level of physics. This is part three. There are four levels to physics. Classical, modern, Tesla, and Johnson. Each level is more advanced than, in sequence than the other, but each overlap the one more advanced than it. To overlap means to accept virtually everything one level has found and learned from its own specific standpoint. And to add to it more detail and comprehension without destroying it or overriding its founded knowledge. Each level, classical, modern, Tesla, and Johnson, has limitations and a specific way to consider things and is correct from that set of viewpoints and considerations. Each level, each level is right and correct from its own standpoint, but is incomplete. The classical overlaps the modern, the modern overlaps Tesla, Tesla overlaps Johnson, and Johnson overlaps transphysics. Tesla Physics Part 1 will be from, from points 1 through 25. Tesla Physics Part 2 will be points 26 to 49. And Tesla Physics Part 3, of which this is, will be from points 50 to 115. Please watch and listen to parts 1, 2, and 3 for a full general understanding of this level, the third level of physics. Now, let's begin with number 50. Tesla Physics includes current and charge density. 51. It also includes pulse power electric current generators. Now, hold on please. I want to show you this. Look at this for a second. This isn't, this is atoms. More than one atoms. This makes a molecule. This makes a molecule. More than one atom. And each atom written in black right here is a charge written a black circle is written in charge small black circle is written in is 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 in is has a charge field around it in red this is electrical fields in red and they are interwoven and interwoven interpermeating and so forth and each one has a field around it because it is a charge and around that around all of those fields is a larger field it's the molecular radiating field the molecular radiating field right here in 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 in, 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 in the broken line of black right here now this this field this gigantic field also alters the space around it or alters the ether around it and creates a light wave a light wave each light wave is made of photons these blocks right here these squares right here these squares these squares right here a photon packet becomes quantized become quantized and this this molecular structure produces the light waves that you, you your eyes see now, now, now this here, once we, this is an electromagnetic wave, electromagnetic wave. This is illustration F. This is number 53. Now, this is electromagnetic waves. Now, the electric field, the electric field is 90 degrees to the magnetic field. This is the, this is the, um, um, vertical vertical arrow vertical arrow and the magnetic field is 90 degrees to the electric field 90 degrees to the electric field and the propagation direction is 90 degrees this this line right here this line right here the propagation direction it is 90 degrees to the electric field and the magnetic field both of them and 45 degrees to that is the mass field the mass field is right here. It is 45 degrees to the electric field, the magnetic field, and the propagation field. 40, 45 degrees to all three of them. Now, this is, creates a magnetic electromagnetic wave, the, like the light in the light you, that, that allows you to see. Now, to continue, number 54. Field propulsion. Field propulsion is also charge voltage propulsion. 
it'll simply also charge propulsion. It, there's also electro and or magnetic field effects to this. Now, 55. To demass an object, you reject the containment field of the mass. And you do that by electric fields, by extreme charge. Number 56. Electrogravitics. Electrogravitics gravitics is a very old uh, 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 name for, for this science. It is more closer to charge voltage propulsion, or simply voltage propulsion, or etheric propulsion is the ultimate statement in, trans, uh, in Tesla physics for this, or electromagnetic propulsion. Electro, the electric field and the, the Earth's field propulsion, electrovoltage propulsion, are names for these forms of propulsions. Now, 57. Physics. Classical physics has the least amount of information. Modern physics has more information. Tesla physics has more information still. And Johnson physics has all the information that a human being can possibly come up with on any given thing. When it, in, in, the, in Tesla physics, in the sense of physics. Now, 58. The neutralization of force to zero is given in the x direction. In the x direction, you can neutralize the force to zero in the x direction, where the mass is present. Also, the inertia in classical physics frame, in a classical physics frame, the inertia in a classical physics frame of a system is not there any longer. Energy is present, of course, but the, the inertia is not. Number 59, mass is an effect of field combinations. Change the field combination, you change the mass of the system. Number 60, voltage, amperage, magnetism, electric, on very large scales and its effects for specific purposes, you can do with particles of energy. And you can deal with this in the direction and control and instruments, etc., of the craft that you want to go in specific directions. Now, 61. You can produce lift in small airfoils, small condensers, a few pounds, by applying 50,000 to 250,000 volts. Or one or 1 million to 1 billion volts in a specific, highly specific craft you can lift one ton and of and 10 to the billion volts to 10 to the 12th power of volts you can lift 20 tons 10 to the 12th power of volts to 10 to the 18th power of volts you can lift 100 tons now number 62 the speed 50,000 to 250,000 miles per hour pardon me pardon me dealing with the speed now 50,000 volts to 250,000 volts will propel an object as long as you're dealing with the positive charge in the front of it and uh, because the, the direction of the craft will go in the positive charge direction will produce inches to one, a few inches to 100 inches per second. 10 to the 12th power to 10 to the 15th power volt will produce 10,000 miles per hour if the system is designed correctly. You must design the system correctly. It's not a matter of just simply putting voltage into an object. You must have the correct system to do this. Now, let's go to 63. An electric condenser of special materials must be, must be used. And if you do that, the efficiency becomes 99% because you are dealing with electricity. 64. The E-man circuit. E-E-M-A-N. The E-man circuit looks like this. Hold on, please. Now, you have an impulse. The impulse is, uh, is in the ether. The impulse on the ether is in the direction of the arrow right here. This is direction of the thrust. Direction of the thrust. This, this here, the best thing to use are circular plates, capacitors, circular plate capacitors like this. Circular place capacitors, the, the field is, looks like this, looks like this. You have the positive charge at the top, negative charge at the bottom, and when the impulse on the ether happens, instantaneously you have a recoil, 
of the ether, a recoil of the ether, which drives the the system, which picks, which makes the capacitor lose weight and starts to lift and starts to, to move because of a positive charge. Now, 66. We'll go to that was 65. Let's go to 66. Now, Tesla is a, considers the ether and space a single fabric. Space and ether are one integrally. All is ether, all is space. And everything is space and requires space. Energy, quanti quantities of energy, mass, and everything else, momentum, and so forth, is space itself in motion. Now, let's continue, please. We'll go to 67. Electrostatic effects. The Alvin wave propulsion system. Electromagnetic spacecraft propulsion. Superconducting particle accelerator propulsion. Anti-gravity propulsion. We'll go to 68. So-called anti-gravity. Gravity does not exist. But nonetheless, it is used way back in the 1920s and 30s when people were dealing with flying saucers, well, not flying saucers, but Tesla ships, and trying to create so-called Tesla, uh, uh, trying to create Tesla ships. They had anti-gravity propulsion. The manner in which it worked was infinite specific impulse to near light speed velocities were attainable. This was figured out. The minimum damage to the environment would be the case and you had economic exploitation of space in mind. Now let's go to 69. A metal annulus, A-N-N-U-L-U-S, a metal annulus is rotated to great speed. Conduction of electrons are displaced outward, producing intense negative charge on the outside perimeter and positive charge inside rotating the rotating the electric field tapped by induction coils around the annulus so as to drive the annulus producing feedback effect making intense electric and magnetic fields when the electric potential reach 10 to the 14th power of volts conducted to the metal hull around the annulus shielding from the earth's the Earth's field and inertia is obtained. Two saucers, not, not eating saucers of course, but two saucers clamped together at very sharp edges. Creates a, a vortex turbine. We'll go to number seven. Seven T, seven zero. Very light special electric condensers is used for this. But to make the ship, to make a ship, this is used to learn of how to make a ship. We'll go to number 71. 10 to the 13th power of volt generator becomes inertia free. 10 to the 13th power of volts becomes inertia free. Number 72, ether technology, a rotational approach to a field flying craft control. Now, 73, ultra high voltage potential by a ring generator in which flash over is removed. is removed. Now let's go to 74. Anything entering the crafts, a Tesla ship, a craft's field is first attracted, then ionized, then repelled. Small changes in the flux leads to large physical effects. Now 75. 
the principle of flux vortex in operation. Hold on, please. Look at this drawing. This is the impulse, impulse on space. Impulse on the ether. This is a Tesla ship, a craft, a flying craft. Look at the field. Look at the field. Look at the field. This is a recoil. Once you have an impulse on space, you have an automatic recoil by space, a recoil by space, which, which propels the craft in the positive direction, the more positive direction of the craft itself. Let's go to 76. 76. This can be done with a double toroidal, toroidal vortex in the craft, via the craft. Number 76, magnetic field. First, the magnetic field of the craft first feels like jello. Then the magnetic, the more voltage, then the magnetic field feels as solid as any piece of wood, cement, and so forth. Concrete, just like that. Number 78. Certain types of generators creates a double toroidal vortex of space ether flow. The ether enters the axis of double toroidal at both sides and emerges at the periphery of the circle where both toroids join and, and stabilizes as the axis aligns with the direction of surrounding flow. The toroidal vortexes will not be disturbed by any force in a purely parallel fluid stream. The fluid streams or means, means the air or space or the ether itself. We'll go to 81A, a levity disk, an electric generator of unique design, creating potentials of one billion volts at low rotational speeds, to, and also from 10 to the 10th power to 10 to the 14th power of volts. This is Tesla physics. Now, let's go to 81B. Ionic breakdown of the air shorts out high voltage generators. This is, was solved by a man named John Searle. He learned how to remove flashover. And the ionic charge is used to create a vacuum insulator around the generator. We'll go to 82. The, the Earth's field force neutralized and free from inertia. The system becomes free from inertia. Since the inertia is absent, the laws of inertia do not hold. 83. Space is a substance of such from which mass, matter, energy, motion, force, etc. derive or ether theory. 84. A certain type of generator called a Searle generator when running above its own threshold potential which was given to the United States military and classified in its secret workings produces energy from an unknown source and is self-perpetuating and pours out energy into a discharge corona surrounding, surrounding the generator as well as a specific type of craft based on it. 85. The system transmits energy in a magnetic field, not as electromagnetic radiation, but as non-oscillatory uh, oscillatory fields which continuously expands. 86. 
concentric rotating disks and rings, the ratio of which the ratio of the depth of the disk to the radius has to be of a specific value. 87. The disks creates energy from the ambient medium or the ether it rides upon or is or in fact is. Now, 88. The voltage field, voltage field propulsion. One of the mechanisms is field induction, inducers. 89. Burkhard Heim, B U R K H A R D, Heim, H E I M, considered unified, a unified quantum field theory of matter and the universal force field. Let's continue, please. Now, number 90. The Earth's field vortex is a phenomenon that is 98. B. And it becomes a method of propulsion with effective acceleration fields. It becomes contra-boric effective. C. The Earth's field waves with resultant electromagnetic radiation and induction of strong magnetic and electric fields. D. An apparatus, device, or craft must be large surfaced or a disk. 94. We'll go to 94. From 90 to 94, we'll leave out 90 to 93. Now, 94. The Earth's field can be neutralized by producing an inverse field of extreme electromagnetic force. 95. Two inverted disks filtered, fitted to each other with 10 to the 9th to 10 to the 18th power, 10 to the 9th power to 10 to the 18th power volt will achieve lift and much more. Now, 96. The weight is canceled and its cancellation is caused by charge of electrons voltage extracted from the body to be D, Earth's field. In other words, it's decoupled from the Earth's field strength. 97. Dr. Foher, P-O-H-E-R, investigated 35,000 UFO sightings by 1977. And and in the approximate 40 years, pardon me, in the approximate 80 years, about 90 million UFO or Tesla ships sightings worldwide have taken place. We'll go to 101. The ether universal matrix effects the electricity. Number 102. Etheric force fields are possible. 103. High frequency effects. Earth's force field is affected by radiation in the ether. Let's go to 109. 50,000 volts to 200,000 volts capacitors made, made a special way, exhibits thrust. 110. Nikola Tesla. Empty space, Euclidean space, cannot be curved. 111 to 112 has been removed. 113. The, a moving universe. 10 to the infinity, near absolute zero, is a non-moving universe in true absolute zero. 114. Hypersolids, hypersolids, solids, fluids, which includes liquid gas and compressed plasma, fields and free fields, makes up the real world in which we are. 
Now, 115. Tesla physics overlaps Johnson physics when Tesla physics as extreme voltage is used and also when dimensions are used. And when extreme voltage is used, this, pr this, this proves the existence of gravity. I want to thank everyone for listening and watching and have a very good day, but also please share this video. And once again, have a fine day.